So in our first example here, we'll be going through an FB50 template. And so here I am in Excel. I've got the data already pre-populated here, okay? And we've got a Wind Shuttle Run tab that's actually going to be responsible for the interaction between this Excel file and the SAP system. So first off, what we're going to do is actually validate the data against the SAP system. And before we do that, I'm just going to type in a cost center that isn't going to exist here. And then I'll kick off the validation. And the first thing that it's going to do is actually prompt me to log into the SAP system that I want to use. So the reason for this being, if I don't have access to post journal entries in my system, it's not going to let me do it through WindShuttle. So it's actually using my credentials, my authorizations to go in and actually post this. And so what we'll see over here in the log column is it going through and validating each of those rows. So these first five here show a successful, no data errors. The sixth one here that I planted an incorrect cost center in, you can see, is giving me a message back from SAP telling me that the cost center doesn't exist. So I know that this line has an issue that I need to go take a look at. And let's say that I, I come to this field and I maybe don't know what to input here. You can actually look up those values in SAP by clicking that button there. And it'll actually bring up the SAP F4 help for me to be able to go in and search that. So I can go through and add anything, any, any cost center that I want here to that screen. Now in this case, I know 1000 is the one I wanted, so I can go ahead and just type that in. We can revalidate to make sure that that data is good and that it's going to be accepted by the SAP system. So it should overwrite my error message there and tell me now that all of these are, are successful. So then once I know that my data is good, I can now go in and actually post this data to the system by clicking the Run button here. And so if I kick that off, similar to what it did in Validate, it's reading the data from the Excel file here and then writing it to SAP. The big difference being we're now actually posting this document into the SAP system, and I can see that message come back here. So if I pull up my document number and log into my SAP system, I can pull up that document. And we can see all of my line items here, as well as the amounts, the cost centers, the profit centers that were listed, and the header data as well. And if I pull up the header data, we can see that not only does it give me the time and date of entry, but it also shows that it was entered by me. So yet again, emphasizing that just because you're doing this through WindShuttle doesn't mean that it's not still capturing you as the user that's typing in this entry, which is really important from an auditing perspective.